And welcome back to another edition of the Where Should They Go From Here series. I am RJ West, and I know that when I started this series that I said I was going to go by the team. I was going to go by... What did I say? What did I say? I said that I was going to go by team for playoffs. I was going to go by the team that got eliminated first. But I decided to just go by playoff record because I felt like that was... I felt like that was going to help me push these videos out faster and finish quicker and also a lot more efficiently so today we're taking a look at the Chicago Bulls and this team is also in a pretty bad spot not contending for a title but not getting an awesome draft pick either however I think that the Bulls are arguably I mean look they just have not so I mean the difference between them and the Blazers is that they don't have bad contracts they have a star player and also that their star player should be traded like Jimmy Butler Jimmy Butler I think he should be traded by the I think he should be traded by the Bulls and traded to the Celtics like I mean I'm just I'm not buying this whole Gordon Hayward nonsense they're not gonna be able to afford him and still patch up but you know we'll get to the Celtics when we get to the Celtics we'll talk about them later but the Bulls they just need to get they need I feel like they should trade Jimmy Butler because they're gonna they're not gonna be able to build up a team to win a championship in the next two years in my opinion like they really have just not done the right things. They have not done the right moves. They traded Doug McDermott and um they traded Doug McDermott and Taj Gibson for Anthony Morrow and Cameron Payne. Like that is not the Thunder won that trade, hands down. The Thunder won that trade hands down because Taj Gibson is a good defender and uh, Doug McDermott Decent shooter, you know, he was, I hear from Bulls fans that he's inconsistent, because I didn't watch that much Bulls games this year, right, I'm going to be honest, but I will be watching, I will be comparing Jimmy Butler to Gordon Hayward and evaluating what the Celtics need to go, where the Celtics should do in this upcoming offseason, because obviously this where should they go from here series is just like previews and stuff, it's really just offseason previews. And, uh, I can't wait to get to the Bucks actually. <laughs> but anyways, the Bulls are just, they're not in a very good situation. They're, they're just not a very good basketball team. It says that they're in rebuilding mode, and that's what they should be in. They, I mean, they still have good cap space, but, like, the only thing they have going for them right now is their history and their market. But, like, players aren't going to care about that anymore. Like, they're really going, unless they're just young I don't I don't know about Blake Griffin all right I don't know about I mean if they were to sign him I don't think that he's even considering them but like that's that's really ultimately what they need a Paul Millsap or a Blake Griffin you know something along those lines I guess they're just in such a bad situation I need to reevaluate what I'm saying right now but I mean, getting a guy like Blake Griffin would be, I mean, they just, they really just shouldn't, they're in win now mode, and they shouldn't be in win now mode, is what I'm trying to say. They shouldn't be in win now mode. They can keep Dwayne Wade if they want to, because Dwayne Wade says that he likes it in Chicago, and he just wants to be paid, and this is the only other place that he can imagine being in, besides Miami. So, I mean, they're going to need to trade Jimmy Butler, go with the rebuild route, let Rajon Rondo walk and then they're gonna need to just start building around their young players also Paul Zipser too young players Paul Zipser Bobby Portis Nikola Miritic Denzel Valentine they're gonna need to build a campaign too they're gonna need to build around their younger players because they shouldn't be in win now mode right now I mean if they do land a free agent then I mean then they can do a win now mode but I think this is that that's the right path just 
go rebuild mode. Defensively, they were actually statistically they were actually one of the better defensive teams, but also statistically they weren't that good offensively. And so they're gonna need to improve. They just need to, if they want to keep Jimmy Butler, they got to. They need to do. They need to get working into that ASAP and trying to build up a championship contender. But even then, I don't even know if they're gonna be able to make moves to, to compete with the Cavs. I think Jimmy Butler might be able to compete with LeBron, but Dwayne Wade is past his prime. Rajon Rondo is past his prime. It's just not that good of a situation in Chicago. I'm just, I'm not buying what they're selling right now. And a lot of Bulls fans are calling for the heads of Gar Foreman and John Paxson. Rightfully so, because they haven't done a good job. So, we'll see what the Bulls decide to do. I think... In terms of drafts, I think they do own their pick. And they also, they don't own the Kings pick because it is inside the top 10. So let's actually take a look at my drafts here. Uh, no, they don't own that pick. But they own this pick. Not much. Where's, um, where's, uh, that, that one center from Gonzaga? Where's Gonzaga? I want to look at that one center from Gonzaga. I forget. I think it's Zach Collins or something. Zach. Or Justin. I can't remember where he is. That one. It's that one center from Gonzaga that I can't think of right now. Zach Collins. Yeah, it was Zach Collins. Okay. Yeah, it was Zach Collins. So. If they were to get a guy like Zach Collins, then I mean, God, where, why is he not in the mo Why is he not anywhere in the first round? This guy's a that guy's a first round talent. What is this? He's supposed to go in the first round, but even getting a guy like Zach Collins, like I mean, he will be a good center for you, but like, will he really help you out? I mean, he will help you out in the movement of young talent, but you still gotta trade Jimmy Butler. If you can trade Jimmy Butler to the Celtics and get Markel Fultz, that would be ideal but you're gonna need to just you gotta start forming your team whether you're gonna like rebuilding is really where they should go in my opinion trading away jimmy butler and just building around their young talent it's kind of where i see them going that's where they i mean that's kind of where i see that they should go trade jimmy butler so yeah I mean, I think they should have, I mean, they waited for the right offer, so I think they should try and trade him this offseason. That's where I think the Bulls should go. I've been RJ West. See you guys next time, as next time we will be taking a look at the Indiana Pacers. So I'll see you then.